Hello my lovelies, it's Azana, and today I want to show you how to find the greatest common divisor of two numbers using the Euclidean algorithm. We're going to take a look at these three examples together, so let's start with the first one. We want to find the GCD, or the greatest common divisor of 55 and 15. In general, the GCD is going to be a number that we have to find, and this number is a divisor of the 55 and a divisor of the 15, and it is the greatest of all the divisors of these two numbers. And the Euclidean algorithm helps us to find the greatest common divisor, and it goes like this. You take the larger of these two numbers, so in our case the 55, and then you ask yourself how often does the 15 go into the 55? Um, the 15 goes into the 55, well the 55 is not divisible by 15, but it goes in there three times because 3 times 15 equals 45, and then this is not 55 yet, right? We are at 45, so we're going to have a remainder from the 45 to the 55, it's 10 steps. So we can write the 55 as 15 times 3 plus this remainder. And now we're going to repeat exactly this process we just did with new numbers, because now on the right side we have smaller numbers. This was our smaller number, and our remainder. Let's do exactly the same thing. We take the 15 and ask ourselves how often does the 10 go into the 15? Well, we can do 10 times 1 and then we are at 10. And then we're going to have a remainder because it's not 15 yet, right? So from the 10 to the 15 it's 5 steps. And the same process again. We have smaller numbers now. The 10 here and our new remainder, we do the same thing. We take the 10 and write it as. How often does the 5 go into the 10? Ooh, this time the 10 is divisible by 5 even. So it's 5 times 2, right, which equals 10. So we don't have any remainder. Our remainder equals 0. And as soon as you arrive at a zero, then you automatically know that the previous remainder is your greatest common divisor of these two numbers. So the five is our result. Let's do exactly that with our second example. This time we want to find the greatest common divisor of 13 and 19. We use the same steps. First, we pick the larger of these two numbers, this time it is the 19, and we ask ourselves how often does the 13 go into the 19? It's just one time, because 1 times 13 equals 13. And how many steps do we have to go from the 13 to the 19 then? It's 6 remaining steps. Then we have new numbers, the 13 here and our new remainder, the 6. We do the same thing. We take the 13 and how often does the 6 go into the 13? This time it is 2 times, because 2 times 6 equals 12. And how many steps do we have to go to get to the 13? It's just one more step. Okay, new numbers, we do the same thing. 6 equals how often does the 1 go into the 6? Well, the 1 goes into the 6 6 times, and 1 times 6 equals 6 already, so we don't have any remainder, so the remainder is 0. We arrived at the end, and we then automatically know that our previous remainder is our greatest common divisor, so it is a 1. And this also works with big numbers. It's a little bit more to calculate, but in general, same procedure. 
we pick the larger of these two numbers. This time it's the 24,255. And we ask ourselves, how often does the 12,540 go into this number? Um, it is just one time. If you don't see it or don't want to calculate everything in your head, you can also use a calculator. So you can also divide this number by this number, then you get a result of one point something. So you know it goes in there one time. But then you have to calculate the remainder. So one times 12,540 equals 12. 1540 and from this number to this number it is 11,715 steps. So you can use the calculator and just do this number minus this number and then you get this remainder here. But now we have new numbers, smaller numbers, they're still big, but okay, we repeat our steps. So we have the 12,540. And how often does this number now, the 11,715, go into this number? It is just one time, because one times that number is 11,715, sorry, 15. And from here to here, we have the remainder. So how many steps are these? If you subtract these two numbers, you get a result of 825. Smaller numbers, new numbers, still big. We will get there eventually. Just stay patient. Um, so this number, how often does the 825 go into 11? 1715. You can use your calculator and divide this number by this number. You will get a result of 14 uh, point something. So we know it goes in there 14 times. So we have a times 14. And we find the remainder by calculating this 825 times 14 equals 11,550. And from here to here, our goal, it is 165 steps. New numbers, come on, where is my remainder zero? 825, same game. How often does the 165 goes into this number? It is five times. And if you calculate this and divide this by this number, you get a result of five. So not five point something, it is just five. So we don't have any remainder at all. We found our zero remainder, which means that the previous remainder, the 165, is our greatest common divisor of these two beautiful numbers. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!